either FedEx needs some softer hands or Speed Engineering needs to work on their packing. Let's, uh, let's pop this open and see what else we got. All right, so I pulled them out and they both look good. This one I'm just leaving in here. Uh, like I said, Speed Engineering. Free sticker, sweet. Uh, they look real good. Haven't tried fitting them yet, but uh, just eyeballed all the welds and everything. Everything looks real good. Everything looks tight. Uh, no gouges. The headers themselves look fine. So, supposedly this one was, it is designed for the third gen Camaros with an LS swap. So, I will go ahead and get, originally I was wanting to go ahead and put my, uh, use my original headers. And I'll sh let me show you what I got going on there. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see through the camera or not, but original 6.0 LQ4 headers. That's what I was hoping to fit up. But that right there is as close as I can get. See the gaps right here. The reason for that is, hopefully you can see it, but just that collector and flange right there hitting the subframe. Um, I actually debated on cutting that that little one bolt off. Decided against that. Thought about possibly uh, notching the subframe here and making it fit. But I mean, with that much of a with that much, it would have been pretty significant of a notch in the subframe. I'd read or heard somewhere online about a five three exhaust manifold was a little more narrow and fitted in smaller tighter spots but still had the same the same uh everything would fit on a six liter so yeah i had a buddy that had an old set of ls 5.3 liter headers so i tried it and they are a little bit different but still the same same situation i was hitting right there so oh. That's the main driver for me getting the uh, the headers. Kind of irritates me because I was hoping, you know, and my future plan is to go ahead and uh, turbo this thing at one point in time. Probably not this year, but maybe next year. Use this year as just to make sure everything works and runs. But uh, so I was hoping to get away from buying headers until I had to do a turbo, but. I had to go ahead and bite the bullet on this and it wasn't as expensive as I was thinking. It was about three hundred dollars for book for the headers. And that was uh that was shipping and everything, so taxes, shipping and everything. So let me uh let me see what we gotta do to get this thing in. It's hitting exactly where I was expecting it to. And I don't know if you can see down there or not, but uh, trying to see. There, uh, I do have a 4L80 in this thing, and uh, that little tab sticking off the side for the scatter shield bolt. It's 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 jammed up on that. Uh, now, in all honesty, Speed Engineering did say if you're running a 4L Lady, you might need to make some cutting modifications to that piece. Didn't specify that piece, but I assumed it was. Uh, you'd have to do some cutting modifications to make these headers work, so it sticks out pretty bad. So I'm going to see if I can. Uh, 
I'll probably take the starter off and see if I can. I prob I'm, I'm hoping I can just take a sawzall to it. All right, I got this sawzall in there. I haven't started cutting yet, but luckily I just got some brand new blades for this thing. I'm expecting to have to do this. Uh, yeah, hopefully, hopefully this is all it's going to take. One cut later, and these things darn near just jumped in there. I mean, I haven't looked at it from the bottom yet, but, uh, I mean, first, as soon as you get past that first bend, I mean, it, it damn near would have gone all the way to the floor, I think. So, so far, kudos to Speed Engineering. I don't know if you can see that yellow down there. That's where my cut was. You can see, I don't know if we can see how much I had to cut off. So, passenger side, I'm calling done. I'm gonna crawl up underneath and see how it looks. I only got two bolts in here, just hold it tight. I didn't even put a gasket in here. Uh, I got a dipstick for the transmission. I gotta try weaseling through here as well as the, the engine oil dipstick. I was waiting for uh, putting these, putting this header in first, so. I think I'm, uh, I think I'm golden, man. Now I'm gonna go cuss out the other side and figure out how I'm gonna work it. All right, I got the passenger side on, and I was right. It was, it was a lot more difficult to get in there. Let me, let me back up. Yeah, it's a lot more difficult to get back to that uh, little ear that I had to cut off the. Uh, 4L80 transmission at one bolt it was a lot more difficult to get to it uh, specifically because of brake lines and this steering shaft um, I got it started from up top here and I ended up having to go down underneath and cutting it from underneath uh, so that wasn't fun but uh, uh, here's what I cut out uh, just for reference there that's the uh, passenger side, or excuse me, driver's side, and that's what my uh, passenger side. It was a lot easier, so I was making a better cut. So right now, looking up here, I'm gonna probably end up having to tweak some, uh, bend some brake lines out of the way. Uh, looks like this one right here might need to get bent a little bit. Get it moved some. Uh, it's probably less than a quarter inch right now from the header. The same with the very first one right here. You can see it's about about a quarter as well. So I'll see if I can bend those up out of the way. Uh, let's go down below and I'll show you what it looks like down there. Kind of see how they uh, drop down and where they end right there. Kind of up in there about what I want to do from here uh, I really don't want to put a full exhaust system in knowing that I'm going to probably tear it back out so I'm actually debating on just getting some resonators I believe they're called and just seeing if I can uh, just 90 them down or 45 them down straight down like ground pounders ground thumpers I forget what they're called but so from down here, it's a three inch exhaust. You can see over there the uh, driver's side. I'm trying to show you what the uh, what I cut. I don't know if you can see it up in there. See the yellow paint? That's the paint from the sawzall blade. So that's what I ended up cutting. Uh, Yeah, I got plenty of room, I think. The only thing I have questions about, not so much a question, but just trying to figure out how I'm gonna get this. I don't know if I gotta come this way. I don't know if I gotta come this way by the transmission, right under the transmission, or if somehow I'm gonna have to sweep it out on this side. I think most people, 
I could be wrong, but I think most of them come down by the transmission and then hug it up to the uh, up to the drive shaft here. Bring it up around next to the drive shaft. Uh, I ain't got a clue yet. Um, I seen a set of ovals, exhaust pipe, oval exhaust pipes. Might help with some clearance around here. This right here is the big thing I'm worried about is this uh, subframe. I'm trying to get around this subframe. So, same with on that side. If I could get on the other side of these subframes, I got all sorts of room now, but getting up under there, I, I guess I could, somewhere's right in here. But then I got this floor, I don't know, man. It, I got floorboards and everything else. I guess I'll have to do some more YouTube search and figure out how they do it. All right, so overall, I'm, I'm pretty happy with these pipes. I mean, they they fit just as advertised. I mean, I'm... I mean, they even told you you had to cut if you had a 4L80. I cut that little ear off, and I mean, they just, passenger side just fell in. Driver side had a little, had issues. Not do the, I mean, as soon as I get them in there, it was great. Driver side, you have to feed them up from the bottom. So I ended up having to jack the car up a little bit higher to be able to get the right angle on these pipes to fish them up through here. But I mean, they, as soon as I jacked the car up, and get that ear cut off the 4L80. It uh, it came in a lot easier. Like I said, the biggest problem was just getting to that ear to do the cut. Uh, this side, the driver's side here, I did go ahead and put all the bolts in, put the uh, gasket. I put one of them uh, gaskets that came with it. I do have a multi-layer metal gasket, but uh, it is used. So I just decided I'll, I'll try using this. This is what came with them. I'll use that to start with. If they blow out, I'll replace it with a metal one. But uh, one thing to remember, try using this. Uh, if you got a chance, you need to try to use some of this anti-seize on, on your exhaust header bolts. Um, it'll make it a whole lot easier coming back out. Hopefully it won't seize up and you won't be snapping studs. So... Be real liberal and dope it up with this anti-seize. It works good on the hot parts. You may have to go back and tor retorque, but uh, just about anything with with uh, that's involved with heat, it you should always go back and retorque anything that gets gets a heat cycle in it. So, driver side's done. Passenger side's just mopped up. Like I said, I've got a do the oil dipstick get it uh, up in there and something I'm not really looking for is that transmission dipstick yeah that's that's what I'm that's actually what I'm really dreading so I just got this mocked up with two bolts but like I said overall I'm extremely pleased with how these things fit all right finally got the headers in there got my dipstick oil and the uh the trans dipstick uh i had it i had it painted nice pretty black and then uh that's a that's a custom fit right there that took quite a bit of beating and prying and bowing finally got it in and uh you can see right here this thing was right in front of this so i ended up having to having to bend it out of the way some more um uh, that's actually a pretty thick wall tubing for a dipstick. I ended up going into work and uh, use some vices and some other uh, tools to get that thing bent. But anyways, I finally got the headers in. I got them bolted in. I went ahead and bolted them in tight. Used anti C. So everything on this is uh, good to go. Uh, turned out a lot better than I was expecting. So... I think we talked enough about it before. I just wanted to show a little bit after. I don't know if I showed you underneath. So they tuck up in there. I gotta figure out how I'm gonna get it, get them out of there and where I 
going to go when I do get them out of there, but I'll figure that out later. Uh, who knows, I might just stick a little, little 90 on there and hit it straight down or a 45 or something, sweep them out, run open headers without an exhaust or a resonator or anything. We'll see. I got that part done. Time to move on to something else.